Hi, this is Instructional Development at UC Santa Barbara. Pacing your lesson is about creating the student's perception of rhythm and movement between topics, whether your course is online or face-to-face. -to -face. Too fast? Students are overwhelmed. Too slow? And it's boring, even for you. So here are some ideas for finding the right pace for your classes. First, consider students' cognitive load, which is the amount of information they can process before moving on to new content. A well-paced lesson manages cognitive load by focusing students' mental effort as they learn. Remember that novices need to be taught how experts think, not just the information that experts use. To manage students' cognitive load, try chunking your content into sets of information or skills that novices can process at one time. Each chunk might be a different size depending on its complexity or the level of expertise students need to demonstrate. Chunking might mean removing extraneous details and reorganizing examples or practice work so students can attempt expert thinking while getting timely feedback about it. You will also want to identify logical places for checking in with students to see if they are ready to move on. Next, think about the timing. A good heuristic is about 10 to 20 minutes per chunk, especially for straight lecturing, whether recorded or in person. If a chunk is too long or is especially challenging, find a place partway through where you can change the format or do a short activity. This brings us to guiding students' mental effort by scaffolding their learning with study materials and activities that help them navigate through the chunked content. Pedagogical scaffolding focuses students on key points and helps them practice working and thinking like experts. Your delivery of the materials and activities depend on how you want students to engage with them and on your course format. In-person, blended, and online courses offer differing and complementary affordances to support students' learning. Scaffolding also creates opportunities for you to explicitly model expert thinking and provide students with timely feedback. The last idea is to ask your students what they think about the pace of your lessons and ask them for suggestions about which materials and activities best support their learning. We hope these pedagogical considerations will help you create well-paced lessons that support students as you teach them to think in expert ways. For more information, contact us at Instructional Development. Thanks for watching.